So I turned my car around in my garage. So I'm about to go ahead and do the replace the radiator support. This is a spot weld drill bit that I bought. It's specific meant for spot welds and you can change out the heads in it when it wears out. So uh, getting to the radiator support, you know, I gotta pull everything that you see off the front. So I'm gonna pull out the radiator on the front of the car, pull out the uh, condenser fan, uh, the horns, the headlights, obviously pull the fenders out, uh, pull out the battery, pull out the air intake, upper half, pull everything that's connected on it. Uh, the only thing that I'm probably not gonna disconnect is the condenser. Only reason why, because I have to drain out the fluid. I can just move that out of the way. It's not a big deal. So, um, and removing all the hoses and stuff, not a big deal, very simple. So one thing that I learned from work over the years working at a dealership is coolant, coolant all over the floor, hate that. So I went to my local Lowe's hardware store and I picked up a like drain bucket. I don't really know the size of this thing. It's just pretty big. So put the car on jack stands, jack it up and let's get to it. I got the radiator support off. It only took me less than an hour. So I had got a spot wheel, spot wheel drill bit. This is a must to keep from damaging stuff. So how it works is you find a spot wheel, you center it over the spot wheel, you turn it on like so, and it the tip itself digs into the metal, and then you push down because it's, it it's spring-loaded. So you push down like so, and then you spin, which cuts the top layer. Do not use a lot of pressure, only a light bit amount of pressure, because you don't want to do this. You don't want to drill through the hole. The reason why I, I, I mentioned that is because this has to be filled. Like I have to weld this hole up, sand it down, which isn't the end of the world, you know. I made a mistake right here and I pushed too hard and this is what happens. When you push too hard, it goes all the way through. Just light minimum pressure. So what you wanna do, you wanna get on, drill the hole yourself, you know, you wanna go easy with it. So as you're cutting it, you know, you're gonna see the metal start to separate. You're gonna see the spot weld itself start to separate. You don't want to go too much in because you will create little pinholes, which has to be welded. Just go in just I got the like radiator it. support off. It only took me less than an hour. So I had got a spot wheel, spot wheel drill bit. This is a must to keep from damaging stuff. So how it works is you find a spot wheel, you center it over the spot wheel, you turn it on like so, and it the tip itself digs into the metal 
and then you push down because it's, it it's spring-loaded. So you push down like so, and then you spin, which cuts the top layer. Do not use a lot of pressure, only a light bit amount of pressure because you don't want to do this. You don't want to drill through the hole. The reason why I, I, I mentioned that is because this has to be filled. Like I have to weld this hole up, sand it down, which isn't the end of the world. You know, I made a mistake right here and I pushed too hard and this is what happens. When you push too hard, it goes all the way through. Just light minimum pressure. So what you wanna do, you wanna get on, drill the hole yourself, you know, you wanna go easy with it. So as you're cutting it, you know, you're gonna see the metal start to separate. You're gonna see the spot weld itself start to separate. You don't wanna to go too much in because you will create little pinholes which has to be welded. Just go in just slightly, you know. It's actually a lot lower. So, right here is a lot lower. I did not notice that, but now I did notice it. So, it angles down right here, which is just not going to work. So, I'm actually gonna to have to continue through with my plans of cutting it here and cutting it here and retaining it. So uh, this bottom half will not work and I just verified it, it won't work. So not a big deal, uh, probably cut it off right here. Um, well, right on. Change of plans, so I just drilled out the spot welds at the bottom. Right here, this piece is still usable for anybody with a GTR. So now I just gotta move along to the stage here and just drill out those spot welds as well. So here's a little overview of what I did off camera. So as I showed that this bottom support is actually different. So I reused the stage here one. I just drilled out the spot welds that was on the other piece. So I drilled out the spot welds on a GTR uh, frame rail supports, uh, not frame rail supports, but radiator support. Drilled it out on the back side, so I have to weld up it on the back side. Then moving along up top, uh, I got the lights put in. So I'm not sure if it goes on the top. So the stage here one landed on the top. Uh, I don't have my 34 no more. So I don't know if this goes over or under, but I'll figure it out once I um, get the fenders test fitted on. Most likely, what I'm gonna probably just do, because there's a bolt hole here, um, and I just wanna try to utilize it, I'm probably just gonna cut it right here and hammer and dolly. What I mean hammer and dolly is a body hammer. Hammer it flat without this on there, without this on there. And then we see that crease set, cut it right here, just this part of the frame row, and then weld it, weld them two together. So the headlights in looking looking phenomenal, like stock, you know. Um, everything's on, I got it put on here, and uh, everything just looks super professional. And just reusing the Stagio one, clean it up going through, and uh, you know, perfect. It, there was, there, there are sometimes there's things that you will run into that you wouldn't expect that people don't talk about, but you know, as you run into those problems, you will overcome it. So also too, you know, the reinforcement bar goes here. So I utilized this hole right here so I can keep it centered. Um, I did it on both sides over there. So what I'm gonna do is put a few tack welds um, on this side, tack weld it here and there, and do it over there on that other side as well. And, uh, Pull it off. This is not welded on yet, so pull this back off, and then weld up the back, and then put it back and put it back on and install it. But you know, nothing's too hard. 
everything can be done. It's very, very simple. Like I say, don't overthink these things. These things are pretty easy. This is only if you're going the GTR route. So um, what I'll recommend is probably finding an R34 GTT two wheel drive, um, rear wheel drive, radiator support. Maybe to be exactly the same at the bottom, but like stated, you know, pretty simple. You know. So I did encounter one more problem. So once I put the fenders on, I mocked it up. This is just, it's not really mocked up very well. It's just sitting on here. But I noticed that the, the headlight is pushed forward like a whole inch. So looking at it, it's at this angle. This like, see if you could kind of tell. It's like this, it's not straight, it's at an angle. The whole front end is like, the top half is at an angle. So what I'm thinking is that radius bend right here. Um, I just have these holding it on for right now. Is uh, I need to figure out how to bring it back, bring it back up some, a lot more. So it is not touching all the way down there. It is not touching at all. So I just need to get it further back. So I'm gonna have to do some type of modification here just so I can get it back more. So just back at an update on it. Uh, I actually got it to bolt up. So what I actually had to do, um, so behind the headlight right here, I actually had to cut a slit into the R34 radiator support. The reason I had to cut a slit in it is because right here, you see how far out it goes? So I had to cut a slit right here and push it inwards more. So it is pushed inwards more all the way in. So uh, what I'm gonna have to do right here, I'm gonna have to cut this part off or right here, somewhere along here and um, weld it on up top to make it look 100% stock. But that was by using a slit and putting a fender on, crazy enough is I can actually use the bolt, the factory hole for the GTR right here. So you, you can barely see it. So it's literally right here. I can actually reuse that hole for the fender. If I cut part of the frame weld off, it will not affect the integrity. It's just right there. And I was able to mock it up. This is like the real reason why this was the best route because OEM GTR bumper. So I don't have anything bolted up over here, nor the other side. I'm missing the upper half of the bracket. Like literally I have nothing bolted on except for the headlights and uh, the reinforcement bar is bolted on. But look at this fitment. Like, remind you, there's nothing holding it on. Like, look at that. It just literally fit it right on there. Of course, nothing's bolted on, but it's holding this heavy bumper, like, perfectly, which is just absolutely absurd and just crazy. Like, like look at this. Like, there's not even a fender on right here or nothing. And just like, of course, nothing is bolted on. That's why there's gaps. But literally, like, remind you, there's nothing holding this bumper on. It's just sitting there on the reinforcement bar. That's why I went this route. Well, I borrowed a friend's welder, and it's time to weld up the radiator support on the car and uh, go through and weld up each individual hole and get the party on the road, you know? About to get the car done slowly.
So I got the whole friend on. I know I really didn't film it. It was just a lot of tedious things I had to do. So I got the fenders on. I got the bumper fully bolted up. Uh -oh. oh, I got everything in. Welded up, welded up the core support right there. Got to go back and clean that up. Uh, I'll worry about that once I paint everything. Uh, got the car together. Got to adjust this fender right here to that door gap. Um, I got to put a bolt right here because the bumper has a slight sag. It just needs something to support it, honestly. But everything is on. She's all ready to go. One last thing I gotta do is hook up the trans lines. Life of an automatic. Um, once I hit those two lines up, um, I can actually drive this car. So.